the Kansas City Chiefs have proven that they're one of the best teams in the league certainly the best team in the AFC, after sitting at 30 on the year. They took down the Los Angeles Chargers 24-10 on Sunday, while the rest of the division all lost. The Chargers obviously lost to the Chiefs and now sit at 0-3 on the year. They'll have to turn things around fast if they want any shot at winning the division. As for the other two teams, both were 20 heading into Sunday's games but dropped to 21 after losing to their respective foes. The Broncos fell in Buffalo 26-16 and the Raiders were beaten 27-10 in Washington. Both of those games showed why the Chiefs are the best team in the AFC West. A lot of people have been all over the Raiders since their resurgence last year, but the Redskins completely manhandled them on Sunday night football for the whole country to see. Derek Carr played as poorly as he usually does against the Chiefs, Martian Lynch did next to nothing, and Amari Cooper had one reception. If nothing else, it was nice to see the Raiders taken down a peg. The Redskins made them look like the Cleveland Browns on Sunday night football, and hopefully the Chiefs can continue winning so that Oakland doesn't catch them in the standings. The Broncos dropped off big time after their smackdown against the Cowboys in Week 2. They let Tyrod Taylor look like one of the best quarterbacks in the league, and their offense couldn't muster more than just one touchdown. I haven't been big on the Broncos, but their victory over Dallas made me notice them a bit more. They fell right back into the team I thought they'd be though, after falling to the Bills. With the results of this weekend's games, it's obvious that the Kansas City Chiefs are the best team in the AFC West. Sure they have their weaknesses, all teams do, but their offense and defense can both get the job done when needed. They've also got the most impressive resume out of the bunch so far. Seeing Washington slap the Raiders around worries me, however, as they were destroying that Raiders offensive line, which is normally quite good. The Chiefs' Allen hasn't been great, so let's hope that gets fixed before the Redskins come to Arrowhead for Monday Night Football. Kansas City Chiefs' five best head coaches of all to meet's a long season, but it shouldn't be an argument as to which team is the best in the AFC West at this point. It's the undefeated team that handled the Patriots in Foxborough, edged out the Eagles, and did what they should do against the Chargers, beat them. If the power rankings and national pundits even dare put the Raiders or Broncos ahead of the Chiefs this week, prepare for me to post a very angsty article. The Chiefs have proven they're ahead of the pack, and it's not even close.